Hi everyone, it's Charlie DeVille, uh, internationally recognized drag king, and I'm here to teach you three different ways of putting on a mustache. So we'll start with the first one. It is with cream paint, so you can take any color you like. This one's from Amazon. I like to use these little single serving Ben Nye um, cream pot things, they're like $10. And basically all you want to do is dip a flat synthetic brush into the makeup and just put it on with little strokes. So like those are your little whiskers. And that is pretty much the easiest way of putting on a mustache. Um, some good sides to this is that it's really easy to do, super quick, very cheap. You can use like whatever, you could use liquid lipstick. Any kind of um, kind of cream-based makeup you want, and then just make sure that you set it with either a translucent powder or um, I like to use an eyeshadow. So in this case, I would use a black eyeshadow on top just to set it. Um, and yeah, super easy, quick way of doing a mustache. The downside to this uh, method is that it doesn't look very realistic. It is um, clear that it is makeup, but if that's the kind of look that you're trying to do then um, it's a really fun easy way of just having a quick mustache and you could do you could put your mustache on however you like there's so many different ways of doing it so look um, on Instagram or Pinterest to see the different types of mustaches you can paint onto your face um, and I like to always leave a little space um, where my lips meet and start it kind of on the sides there because that's usually what happens on a real man and not always the case but um, a lot of times that's what a real mustache looks like so that is method number one of drawing on a mustache the next method I'm going to teach you how to put on a mustache is with uh, crepe hair so um, for this you're gonna win you're gonna want to make sure that you don't have any makeup on underneath because you will be gluing um, something to your face and having makeup on I feel like just makes the um, bond less secure um, because there's an extra layer between your skin and the glue so um, for this I'd like to I would paint my whole face and then I would um, remove the makeup in the places where I know I'm going to be gluing the hair on uh, so first we do that and then the second thing you want to do is take um, alcohol so 70% here whatever alcohol you have and just um, put some on a cotton swab and dab that onto your face again where you will be gluing and that just takes off the natural oils from your face it's kind of sticky and it kind of dries out your skin but um, it just helps to secure the bond even more especially if you're going to be dancing a lot or lip syncing you don't want your mustache to fall off probably unless that's what you're going for but for the most part you want it to stay on so you then take um, any color crepe hair that you like I have a bunch and they were all anywhere from like five to ten dollars for all of this hair so it's really cheap but the downside for these is that they come um, kind of braided as you can see very uh, bendy hair so uh, before you can glue it on you have to flat iron the crepe hair so I've done that with this um, I've ironed it flat and then you just want to um, cut the crepe hair however long you're making your mustache so if you're making a beard you can leave it really long but in this case I'm showing mustaches so it's gonna be a pretty short amount of hair and you still want it to be long enough because you can always go back and trim it once it's on your face so then we take whatever adhesive you would like I like to use Prosade some people like spirit gum you're not going to want to use double sided tape for this because it's just not great for your mouth to move around if you're going to be lip syncing you want to use some sort of glue and not a tape so I like Prosade, I just dip whatever old brush into it and dab it onto the skin where I will be placing the crepe hair 
and you just want to let this dry a little bit before you uh, apply the hair. And once it's dry, then you just go ahead and um, put the hair on where you put your glue. And for the end parts, you kind of want to direct the hair out um, away from your nose because that's ten tending to how like real hair grows on a man. So um, use that as your template. And um, for the stuff in the middle, you can place it more in the down direction but on the sides you want it to be kind of going out. And I'm not going to do the rest of the face because you kind of get it, but again you want to leave a space in between where the two sides meet um, because it, it tends to look more realistic. Unless you're going for a big Santa mustache or something, you could fill in all the way and then you could just go ahead and trim off the excess once you're done. This style of mustache is really great for lip syncing because you can move your mouth very freely. Um, but a downside to this uh, method is that it can be very messy. You can get hair everywhere. You get it usually in your mouth. Um, I get it all over my workstation when I'm putting it on this way. So just make sure that you can have a space where you are able to get messy if you're going to do hair this way. It's also very hard to take off of your face. So the third method um, is with a lace front mustache. Yes, these exist and you can get them at any kind of costume store that you have. Um, this one was $11. They're not very expensive. Um, and so I have a bunch of them. This one I use for Freddie Mercury. And um, before you use it, you might have to trim it a little bit. You might have to fluff it up. But basically you're just going to put your adhesive on the lace of the mustache and glue it on that way. So to do this one you really want to make sure that you put the rubbing alcohol on your face before you do it. Um, this type of mustache I feel like is the most precarious because of the fact that there is a lace underneath. If you move your mouth too much it can fly off so you really want to make sure that that bond is secure so again use the uh, rubbing alcohol and then um, I'm gonna use Prosade um, that's the one that I like so you just want to take your Prosade and dab it onto the mustache itself and make sure to get it all the way to the very end of the mustache and then you can also go ahead and lay down some Prosade on your skin just to make sure that the bond is super secure um, like I said this one is the one that would tend to come off the easiest so um, you really want to make sure that there is a strong bond for this style of mustache. So again prose down and let it dry a little bit and then you want to make sure that you glue the middle part first and you stick it outwards onto your face. And just let that dry for a little bit. Um, at the beginning it'll probably move around a little bit, but you want to make sure that there's glue all the way to the very end and it's stuck at the tips because that's where it's going to start peeling. It's also uh, trickier to move your mouth with this one because it's a solid piece, so um, your lip syncing might be a bit limited, but it is one of the easiest and quickest ways to have a very realistic looking mustache. Um, it's got that 3D effect with the hair, so it's kind of a little bit more professional than the cream makeup only, but um, it is a bit tricky to move your mouth with this one, so that is the downside. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, and I'm going to be making more tutorials for Drag Kings because there's really not a lot on YouTube, so uh, get ready for some more of those. Bye.